Hey everyone, Andrew Parkinson here, and uh, we're at the Annapolis Boat Show, and uh, we're of course doing judging for Boat of the Year 2024. One of the exciting new nominees this year is the HH Catamarans HH44. Uh, that boat is not here that we're standing on right now. It's on its way to the show. It'll be here very soon. We'll be sea trialing it next week, but in the meantime, I'm here with James Hakes, who is the designer for that boat. And uh, James, thanks for taking the time to meet with me today. Yeah, good to see you. Let's talk a little bit about this uh, 44 foot beast here. Uh, smallest HH to date, right, in yep. the line? Yep, yep. So tell me, what, what's the general overview of the boat? Uh, what are some of the key features that set apart the HH44? I mean, yeah, as a general overview, when we started designing the boat, we wanted it to be the, uh, the smallest, like the entry level HH. So it's the smallest, it's the most affordable, and it's the easiest to sail. Um, like in comparison, we're standing on a 66 now, which is a quite a powerful, you know, a uh, fast boat that is complex and we really wanted to create an approachable design that uses the newest technologies um, and yeah is for a wider audience. Yeah and speaking in terms of design and concept tell us about the design and concept behind that model and what type of boating experience uh, does that HH44 aim to deliver? Uh, uh, liverboards really it's aimed at people who want to cruise um, and they want to they want to actually sail not just uh, live at anchor or live in a marina they want to do miles sea miles so it's Got a lot of new features like a, a parallel hybrid system, our eco drive, uh, loads of solar. Obviously, it comes with all the performance uh, features that we love putting on our HHs, like the curved carbon fiber dagger boards, carbon mast, carbon fiber sails. The structure is 50% fiberglass, 50% carbon. Um, so, uh, a lot of features that make it a really, really good sailing boat, but then loads of electricity coming in from um, all of those systems that make it an easy boat to live on. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you're talking about construction, let's dive into that a little bit deeper. Um, can you tell us about some of the construction materials and techniques used, uh, emphasizing durability and performance on the water? Yeah, so all the structures are in vacuum-infused epoxy uh, resin construction. And um, uh, we do that because it's really tough, it's the strongest, and it's the most durable way to build a structure. And then in terms of the fiber reinforcement on the 44, uh, it's a balance of um, fiberglass and carbon fiber and we use the carbon fiber really where it counts and the stringers and all the bulkheads uh, and a lot of the, the deck cabin top structure because we've got some high sailing loads up there and the, the mast support beams, uh, chain plates, cross beam, lingeron. Uh, there's a lot of carbon and then uh, to try and make the boat a, a good balance of performance and price we do use a bit of e-glass and um, because it's the smallest boat we could go 100% carbon but the skins get thinner and thinner and it becomes sort of impractical. So there's a certain point where it, it makes sense to use fiberglass and, and we sort of struck that balance with the 44, yeah. And in terms of cruisability, folks sailing on the boat, what are some of the standout interior and exterior design elements on the 44? I mean, when you look at it, it's quite a different looking boat. So immediately you see the, um, the, the aft helms, you know, and, and it's quite a, uh, I think it is the first kind of configuration like that on a, on a sailing catamaran. And we did that because we wanted to maximize the living space on board, but still make a boat that's easy to sail. So the helm set at the back of the boat um, that swing in and out. So when they're out, you get a great view of the sails. It's a really awesome helming experience. And you can swing them in, you're protected from the weather, protected from the sun. And because we have the helms at the back of the boat, it leads to like another unique striking feature, which is the folding transoms, which give it that really aggressive squared off look at the back. And that sort of came as a result of the helm position. We wanted it, well, our boats are meant to cruise the world, right? Be safe and comfortable. And so we wanted it to be uh, safe and, and, and it sort of resulted from that. So we have, we are able to enclose the transom. And then when you're at anchor or in a marina, you can open the transoms and your 44 foot boat basically becomes a 48 foot boat. Yeah. Cool. And, uh, and then when you look at the boat, the other thing people will see right away is like ma massive amount of solar. So we designed the boat from day one to around this hybrid system and really to get the most out of a, a hybrid system that has electric propulsion, you want as much solar as possible. So the 44 has uh, 4.2 kilowatts of solar on the cabin top. Yeah. Cool. And that really speaks to, I mean, technology is, is ever growing and HH Catamarans always seems to be on the forefront of that technology. So, you know, aside from those, how did you incorporate the latest advancements in technology and, and innovation into the 44? I mean, uh, it was kind of an, it's like a natural evolution, especially with the hybrid. Um, our customers are always demanding more solar, bigger battery banks, 
bigger inverters, higher output alternators, and it, it kind of set us down this path where it was sort of a natural uh, evolution into the hybrid with electric propulsion, regeneration, um, all, all, all of that technology. And so uh, working at HH is actually awesome because uh, it's a company where we do always looking for the latest technology to put in our boats. And it's, so it's a great place to work as a designer. <laughs> cool. And we talk about the HH44. Clearly, it's, it's performance oriented. Uh, however, it's also a family cruising boat, right? Uh, so how do you address you know, some of the safety elements in the design, uh, not just for, for performance cruisers, but also for cruisers with families and kids aboard? Right. Well, I think the, the folding transoms are a big part of that, being able to have a completely enclosed cockpit, which is good for pets, good for young children. Mm -hmm. And then another uh, great feature of the layout of the boat is having the helms on the same level as the salon. Like everyone is, is, is living and sailing and, and, and enjoying the boat on the same level. So everyone's always within sight of each other. Um, which I think adds to the safety of the boat as well. And then we make uh, the way that the helms are configured, uh, all the sailing systems lead back to the aft helm. So you can furl, you can reef, you can trim the sails, lift up the dagger boards, adjust the traveler. Everything is done from the aft cockpit, which makes it a safer boat when you're out at sea. Great. And in terms of uh, you know, livability, can you share some information about some of the, uh, the layout options or, or the layout itself? Yeah, so uh, we have a, basically a three cabin owner's version is the layout that the boat comes with. But the Ford starboard cabin, you can choose whether you want that to be like bunk beds or you could have it as a workshop or you can have it as like a, a, a double berth. Um, but uh, basically the, the two aft cabins uh, will always be the same and the, and the port owner's hull is always the same. And we find that's the, the right balance of, of, of cabin space versus, you know, open spaces. and. Um, it's, it's an interesting question when you design the interior of a yacht, like how much open space do you put in a boat? Because you always want to have a surface or something to grab, something within reach, especially on a boat that's going to move around in the waves. So I think we did a really good job on the 44 of balancing wide open spaces with uh, touch points and things to grab onto, and, and, and not, but not making it too confined, too cramped. Yeah. And we always find that you know, different owners have different needs and different ways they're, they're looking to cruise. Um, Beyond the layout, what are some of the customizations that are available for owners that have certain needs? Right, uh, so we, we're trying to build the 44 as, as, uh, as fast as we can because it's a very popular boat, a lot of people want it, and so one of the ways we're trying to streamline the production is, is not to necessarily have customization, but we have a, a massive options list. Mm -hmm. Right, so you can choose from 120 options when you buy your HH44, five different color packages. You can mix and match those color packages if you want the floor from one, with the wood color from another and that really, really lets you tailor the boat uh, to be your own but allows us as the builder to try and keep the price down to make it more affordable and to deliver the, deliver the boats faster. Mm -hmm. James, in, in our line of work we're seeing you know, a definite trend towards sustainability and eco-conscious cruising. Um, how has HH Catamarans employed uh, you know, that into their equation when building boats? I mean, uh, Basically, throughout our whole range now, you can get our Eco Drive system, which offers, um, uh, as well as you know, you keep the diesel engines, but that gives you electric propulsion. It gives you hydro regeneration. So while you're sailing, the propellers can spin, generating free electricity for use on board, and um, and then that's available on all our boats now, um, with big lithium-ion battery banks and and big solar array, uh, solar arrays that allows you to essentially go off grids. Um, and, and burn the minimum amount of diesel possible. And then I think that, but the most important thing uh, for our boats, um, and, and I think the most important thing for any boat that wants to uh, be eco-friendly is actually sailing performance. Um, you wanna be able to sail when everyone else is motoring. And that's what HH Catamarans do best. And we were just kind of chit-chatting before we started taping the video here. We were talking a little bit about the performance. You, you, you've sailed the boat a few times. What are your takeaways from there? What, what can we expect from the uh, 44 in terms of performance on the water? Uh, we definitely aimed for really good light air sailing performance with the 44 because that's where you make the biggest gains in terms of, um, of the experience of living on the boat, not having to turn on the diesel engines. And I think we really did accomplish that. We got some good light air sailing performance numbers. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to spend too much time on the boat and sail it in all wind conditions, but I'm really looking forward to doing that soon. Well, hopefully next week on our sea trials, the boat of your judges will get a chance to uh, take this, not this baby, but the 44 out for a spin and uh, test her at all points of sail. That's gonna be really cool. Um, last question I gotta ask, uh, you know, this is the 44, the smallest 
smallest model by HH so far. Can you share with us um, any of the uh, upcoming uh, changes to the line or, or you know, new additions to the line? I mean, definitely these new features like um, the, the, revi the enhanced styling of the yachts, the, the hybrid eco drive systems, the big solar arrays, we're, we're sort of rolling that out throughout our whole line of yachts. And um, in terms of brand new models, um, I, I just recently announced at the Calm Boat Show was the HH80, which is um, similar to our 88 in terms of the, uh, the scale of the yacht, but it's, it's really uh, tried to be a bit more refined and more aiming towards performance um, than the 88 that we just recently launched. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's next uh, on my to-do list when I go back to work. It's exciting times, and uh, this here at the Boat Show is a pretty exciting time in itself. James, thanks for taking the time to uh, meet with us today, chat with us a little yeah, bit about the pleasure. Floor. And again, we're looking forward to seeing this on the water next week. Uh, both of your judges are around judging as we speak. And uh, good luck to you guys, and congrats on designing a great boat. Thank you.